All right, all right, what's up everybody, Ari here, and in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down a $5 billion e-commerce brand and learning exactly what it takes to get to this level and also how they are continuing to grow at this level. We're gonna break down their traffic, we're gonna break everything down, and as you see, we're not wasting any time, okay? The store is called Roman. Now, they've recently rebranded to just Ro.co, kind of a clean name, it's a bar, and just a short name, which I really like. And as you see from the title here, the headline, Roman is convenient men's healthcare. This right here, guys, is a pop off niche. So we look at a lot of trending niches around here. You know, one of my missions here with this channel is to get rid of the gurus and trust the data. So that's one of the sayings for Akemi Lab, one of my businesses. It's trust the data, not the gurus. And the reason I say that is because a lot of people like to funnel their opinions into people's brains around here to sell a course and i'm not saying there's anything particularly wrong with that but i just feel like you're not actually learning as much as you could be instead what we do here is we try to look at the real data and see why things are successful and stuff like that now as you see this store is getting a significant amount of traffic 3.4 million monthly visitors that is no joke and they sell all these different types of products which by the way if you're thinking of a business to start these all right here are pain points that men experience. Erectile dysfunction, men's hair loss, premature ejaculation, low testosterone, testosterone support. These, these are things that some men need. And there's, again, a million ways that you could probably create a business to solve one of these particular problems. Now, of course, Roman is out here trying to solve it all. But let's say there is a simple way that somebody could boost their testosterone, you could create a business around that, for example or a simple way that somebody could fix their erectile dysfunction. Boom, there's a business you could start out of it. Or maybe even if it's just a coaching business or an agency helping people do these things, right? So the reason I mentioned that is just so that you know all the different kinds of ways that you could create a business. Um, I don't want you to just get stuck on e-commerce even though personally, even for my agency, I don't wanna talk about myself too much here, but we're building it kinda like an e-commerce business. And that may not make sense to you right now, but maybe someday in the future, if you subscribe to the channel, it will. As you see though, this is an incredibly simple website and they've really grown it almost like a new source as well. So like a media brand. And I really do believe this is the future of billion dollar companies is for them to become at the same time media brands. So not only product focused brands, but also media brands. As you see, they're posting a ton of different content. They got some advisors on board. They have a nice blog and you know, their traffic doesn't lie. They're doing a lot of different stuff when it comes to driving traffic to their store. But one of the biggest social network distribution channels that they're using is actually YouTube. So this is another thing I've been talking about recently. If you've been checking out some of the videos lately, and by the way, the reason this looks weird, right? Usually I'm at my office. Um, I'm actually in Cancun right now. There's my girlfriend. She's waiting patiently while I make this video. And there's like, you know, the ocean, but you can't see it. But hopefully it inspires you guys to see that even while I'm out here on this paradise type vacation, I'm still out here learning every single day. And you know, that's kind of what it takes, right? That's how, that's what it's gonna take for me to be able to work with brands like this is for me to actually have like a PhD in this stuff. But anyways, Search traffic is obviously a big marketing channel as well. When it comes to this business, it makes a ton of sense. And you know, they're optimizing for like 12,000 different keywords, driving a lot of SEO traffic. So they've really focused on SEO uh, a lot. And the brand started in 2017. So in just about six short years, they've been able to reach a $5 billion valuation. Of course, they did raise a lot of money. So that makes sense. You That gives you a head start whenever you're starting a business. But still, that is super, super impressive. I mean, <laughs> being able to reach a billion dollar valuation that quickly, it's nothing to joke about. But again, guys, this is why I say trust the data, not the gurus, because this is how you really are able to think about how you can create a massive business is by thinking of problems to solve. And I'm not saying that, you know, you and I are going to be able to create a billion dollar business just by taking a look at this. But again, it does give you a good start if you can break this down into logical steps. Like I mentioned at the very beginning, for example, looking at all of their best selling products and then thinking about why they created those products, right? What problem is that solving? And then is there alternative things that can also solve those products? Now, similar to what a lot of other modern DTC 
brands, which means direct to consumer brands are doing. They have a bit of a quiz here that you can take. It's right on their homepage and it basically helps you find what product you need in order to solve a very specific condition. So let's say I just want some men's multivitamin. I click that, boom, they send me directly to that product. So this is actually a different quiz than what we see a lot of brands doing. A lot of brands do quizzes to pair somebody with a product, but also to get somebody to you know, give them their email. This brand didn't do that. They didn't ask me for my email or anything. They just sent me straight to the product, which is actually kind of cool. I respect that. And as you see, very simple landing page, you know, just very well designed, but it's not that fancy, right? Like it's very clear. And that's kind of what they're going for. It's this almost like Apple-esque aesthetic. I feel like most brands are doing that. Even like Chipotle these days, rebranded into this like all white aesthetic with a black font that just looks super modern. So that's never a bad idea to go for, especially since, you know, it kind of seems to be the way of the future. But that also presents an opportunity. It presents an opportunity to easily distinguish yourself from the competition since you know that everybody's optimizing for this sort of look. Still, you know, that's something you got to think about when it comes to your business. What do you want to go for? When it comes to my business, I'm definitely going for that Apple-esque aesthetic, but keeping it extremely minimal. I'm very inspired by Japanese minimalism. That's kind of the aesthetic that I take basically with everything I do. And that's probably why my YouTube channel also looks the way it does. It's extremely simple, but I don't know why I like it that way. Either way, this was just a really cool brand that I wanted to show you. They're doing so many interesting things. And I really found it so interesting to see that their biggest social network distribution comes from YouTube. And then second is LinkedIn. That's super untapped market for, you know, these sorts of things, but it makes sense, right? It, they mention, you know, they're targeting men's health. There's a lot of men on LinkedIn, um, same with Reddit, right? So these are two platforms that they definitely should be targeting. And it's very smart that they're actually allocating money towards it. And then, of course, Facebook. So they're definitely running a good retargeting strategy through Meta. I think this year is going to be big for Meta again. So, you know, that's one of the things that we're focusing at Akemi for our performance package is Facebook ads and Google ads. Again, YouTube is part of Google. So I'm definitely doubling down on those two things, which by the way, if you are, you know, let's say a brand doing 40, 50 K a month and you want to work with us, we work with seven and eight figure brands right now. We have no nine figure brands yet, but someday we will. And then we may have to drop the seven figure brand. So if you are at that level right now and you want to work with us, akemi.co is the place where you'll be able to fill out our form and get in contact with our team. But yeah, guys, again, don't sleep on YouTube when it comes to growing your business. Billion dollar brands are starting to see the power of it. And soon enough, a lot more brands are going to start getting on YouTube. I've only seen a few do it successfully. And I'm not just talking about YouTube influencers. I'm talking about literally making content for your brand, creating a content strategy for it. If you don't know how to do that, ask ChatGPT how you could do that. But long story short is basically figure out what sort of content your avatar, your customer would actually like to watch or would be valuable for them. Personally, that's my approach when it comes to creating content. It's just value driven. I'm not the most entertaining guy out there, right? I can't compete with the likes of Mr. Beast and all these other people, but I'm trying to educate you. I'm trying to actually, you know, take these very complex topics, very complex businesses, break them down, simplify them in a way that really anybody could understand and get inspired by and hopefully make the world a better place by incentivizing more people to create businesses, to grow their businesses or who knows what, right? Maybe you are just entertained by my weird videos who knows but that's really all i got for today make sure you guys check out some of the links in the description as always there's a lot of really valuable resources in there for you and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace